Hello guys, welcome back. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about complexity. And by the end of this lecture, you will have a better understanding of what is complexity with regards to algorithms. And we will also be taking a look at the complexity classes. And we'll try to understand this uh, entire concept with the help of example. So let's get started. So how do we quantify how good an algorithm is? Like with every task in life, there is simple and efficient solution and there are overly complicated solutions. So let's use taking a picture of a flower as an example. So the logical solution to this task is basically point the camera towards the flower and simply take a picture. There's no more efficient way of doing this. However, you can also set up a mirror and take the picture like I have shown. So you can set up a mirror and take the picture of the flower through the mirror. This achieves the same effect but is more complex. The same logic applies to the algorithm. Two algorithms may produce the same output as per the specification but one may do it more complexly and less efficiently than the other. Let's talk about complexity classes. Complexity can be calculated by counting the number of basic operations as a function of the size of the input. We then simplify the expression and look at the most significant factor. So let's take a look at a factorial example. So on my screen, I have an algorithm for factorial and on line one, we have a basic operation of assigning a value to the variable on line two we have n basic operations wherein we increment the variable i n times then line number three is executed n times and consists of three basic operations the first one is assigning a value to a variable then retrieving the value stored in the factorial and then multiplying by i Line number four executes just one basic operation of returning the value stored in factorial. So in total, factorial consists of two plus three into n basic operations. So in total, factorial consists of two plus three into n basic operations. And this is already simplified. So what's the most significant factor in this algorithm? It will be n right because we ignore constant factors like 2 as their execution depends on hardware specific however we would be interested in knowing how the algorithmic complexity grows as the function of input size and hence n will be the most significant factor for the factorial algorithm let's say we had an algorithm with lots of basic operations complexity can be subdivided into two parts one is the time complexity and the other one is the space complexity. We'll talk about this in our later lectures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class and found it valuable. In this lecture, we understood what is complexity and how does it relate to algorithm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class and found it valuable. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.